Oh my god, what a day, fuck's sakes. Fellas, welcome. Welcome to another mighty recap. Um, here's the recap. Buckle up. Um, fuck B R S H. Alright, take it easy. Bye. Ah, what a fucking day, Jesus Christ. Most awful day in history. As you can see my setup is a little different. I'm currently my traveling trading station. Oh my God. And then I'm hitting max loss. Max loss when I travel is a thousand bucks because I don't want to be redder than that, that I'm traveling. I'm not, in my, I'm not in my office. My internet sucks. I'm trading off hotspot. My layout is a little different. I'm trading off of one monitor instead of my usual trading station. Nothing's the same. Emotions are running a little bit higher. I have less time to trade. So because of that, you have to tighten up. You have to tighten up. Max loss today is going to be a thousand bucks. And thanks to piece of shit BRSH, I am hitting that very quickly and early here today. Um, you know, the day, the day was looking not it not promising, but it was looking fine. It was looking fine. Gap scanner a little bit on the slower side, but EDBL, you know, gave a nice little move at the open, gave a nice little pop in which I was able to capitalize. You can see I made a whopping 85 bucks on it. <laughs> oh man. So I made an over a thousand bucks on this move here, and then I lost it all. I lost it all of it. A little bit over a thousand. A little bit over a thousand dollar loss on this red candle here. The stock was popping, it was curling, it was doing the first candle to make a new high. The moment this candle made a new high over this one, it just flew through high of day. And then I felt like, all right, that's gonna squeeze short sellers. That was a very aggressive and strong move. I'm going to jump for the micro pullback continuation to 245 and hopefully 250. Jump in the micro pullback was long around 235. Essentially the highest point of the chart. And this thing just teleported all the way up to two. Thirty cent dollar loss. Thirty five hundred shares. Bye bye profits. Then you know I'm sitting like, man, I had it. I had it. I'm traveling. I had the quick thou in my hands. I had the thou. I had the thou. Right? I could have walked away out of my hotel room a hero. Just made a fucking thousand bucks in my room. But no. Gave it all back. Fuck sakes. Gave it all back. Yeah. And then some more. Right? Then some more. Then, VRSH. This garbage stock. I think I'm red on it on the year because every time it pops up, it's power hour. And you guys know that I don't trade power hour. So every time this thing pops up, I'm usually gone. And the time that it decides to move in the morning, it trades like complete asinine. Complete asinine. <laughs> Fuck. All right. So you can see I'm doing the recovery very early because later I won't be able to have a chance to do it because I'm going to be out and about. So you can tell from my voice, emotions are a little bit higher, right? I'm cussing everybody out. This stock sucks. And today's junk. Anyways, gets halted up. Check out my scanners. Classic dip and rip. Made like 600 bucks. But then I slowly but surely gave it all back. I'll be back. I give it all back. False breakout. Got to buy the view up dip. Loss, loss, loss. This thing starts curling. I jump in somewhere around here, 516, anticipating the breakout through 538. The, the ask breaks out by like 20 cents. I send an order to sell the ask. The bid doesn't go anywhere, but instead it drops. Right? So, you know, it, and it was the exact same situation here. I anticipated the high day breakout correctly, jumped in around 5, 5.10, goes all the way up to 5.38, sending orders to the ask to sell 5.38 because the bid is asleep. Get nothing picked up, the bids drop, and I'm like, you mother trucker. Catch the dip, dips a little more, stop out, and then here, my final trade. 
the exact same trade I repeated here, anticipating the breakout of highs. The ask does move with my entry, but I wasn't able to sell, and the bids did nothing but to drop, so I had to cut the loss. <sighs> Disappointing day, but you know what can you do? I'm keeping it tight, and you know I don't want to lose any more than that. Um, um, for for you guys that don't know, I have a Twitter account. I created a Twitter account in which I'm going to be posting all my my daily profits and losses every single day. So if you want to check this out, if you want to be a fellow follower, um, I'm going to have this in the link down below. And this is where essentially I'm going to be posting my recaps, but in a post format. So for example, today, my tweet probably is going to be, you know, actually let's do it here with you guys. Do I want to be vulgar? Do I even care? Well, this this tweet is probably not gonna it's not gonna go well because I feel like this thing is gonna fly anyways. So I'm gonna be saying fuck BRSH, and then this thing's gonna be like twenty bucks, and everybody's gonna be like, what? <laughs> the stock just moved in the most miraculous way, and you're here talking shit about it. Oh god. And then I need my PL. Well, this thing's curling though, so do we want to trade it? Do we want to trade? While you're here, take a look at this MMU. We are running our biggest sale ever. If you don't, if you don't already know, we are also adding scanners to the website. Well, not to the website, but to the subscription. We're going to be partnering, partnering up with a big scanner software. Um, and, you know, you're not only going to get all these wonderful perks, but soon there's going to be a number 11 that says high day momentum scanners, high low ticker scanners, gap scanners, breaking news, halt the stock scanners. So you can essentially know 100% of the time which other stocks I like to trade. And so you hopefully save, save some money by not having to spend 150 bucks on trade ideas. 100 bucks on Benzinga. Unfortunately, because of that, the prices of MMU will have to increase. So, so you know, right now is an opportunity to jump in 40 off, enter a raffle to participate to win a flight to Vegas with us, and take advantage of these older prices. Right? Because if you are in, when the prices increase, you won't you won't be affected because you you know you you will already be in. You won't have to pay any. Any extras? I think I fucked it up here. Yep. Yep, I did. All right. All right. Yeah, fucked it up, didn't I? I thought it, I thought we were gonna get halted up. <laughs> so, so this is what's running through my head right now. Do I stop right now, or do I sit around and wait for the high day breakout? Because it's happening, right? Oh, we all know it's happening. The question is, so can you time it? You can actually catch it. Because it's going to happen in one second. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. So, high of this candle is 
five twenty high day side thirty eight. Because if we break high of day, this thing's gonna fly straight up the vault. Hmm. But look at but look at look at the look at the losses, right? One loss is four hundred dollars. So it's like you're either gonna catch a big win or a big loss. And the way the day is unfolding and the way this garbage is trading. You know. How likely are you to catch to actually catch the one trade that's gonna go? Out of all the uh, out of all the all the choppiness. Oh look at that, forty percent off. Amazing. Fourteen hundred bucks. Okay. I think uh, I think that's gonna do it. Fourteen hundred bucks. What do I tweet though? Let's talk about this. All right, now I gotta do a screenshot of my hefty loss. All right, so if you wanna check out my tweets, so for example, this tweet is gonna come out earlier than my recap. And you know, if you just wanna see how much I made or lost, this is where you can check it out. Um, so I'm gonna post this. And um, yeah. So I'm gonna, I would appreciate if you can come over to the Twitter side and throw me a follow. All right, that's, that's it for me. That's it for me. So for $1,400 loss on the day, you know, shaving some profits from yesterday, but it is what it is, right? All right, hope you guys are green, if not small red. But it was a tough day, so don't be too hard on yourself. And um, yeah, let's sign up for tomorrow. Leave a like, and I'll catch you tomorrow.